Hey guys, so today we're going to be making a homemade caramel sauce. I hope you guys are ready because it's going to be so good. Okay, so go ahead and get a saucepan and let's get started. So go ahead and get one fourth cup of water and pour that in. And then go ahead and put one cup of sugar to the saucepan. Give it a stir, mix it together. Y'all, y'all go ahead and get y'all a real spoon, child, because I just grabbed the first thing that was in my reach and child. Anywho, keep stirring, keep stirring, because this will be the last time that you will be stirring. Alright, guys, now this is where you're gonna have to be patient. Right now we're just letting it sit and heat up until it turns a clear color. We need the sugar to dissolve until it's see-through. Okay, like so. And then gently swirl, gently swirl. I told y'all, we're not stirring no more. Stirring will mess this stuff up. Trust me, I tried it and had to start over. So just swirl, swirl, swirl. You're gonna be doing this for about a good, mm, anywhere from six to eight minutes or so for it to turn clear and then start bubbling. Once it starts bubbling like so, it's gonna start crystallizing along the pan. So you're gonna have to chop those pieces back down in the pan to get it all melted again. hope y'all are paying attention and watching this stuff cook it's kind of like cooking pecan candy you cannot take your eyes off this stuff y'all see i got me a real spoon now okay so start going along the edges and getting that crystallization back down in the bottom so it will dissolve and melt all together swirl 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 chop 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 okay Chop some more off if you have any. Um, your fire should be like on medium, medium low. This stuff burns very quickly. So make sure you are continuing to swirl, not stir, and just let it start bubbling. So what we're going for, we're trying to get it to a amber looking color, kind of like honey, okay? So if yours start to look like molasses, you done burnt it. Gotta start over, okay? So let's pay attention, everybody because we want this stuff to be good so we can add it to any and everything we like, okay? Chop, 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 keep going. All right, at this point, y'all, it's starting to look like a little something, something. But all in all, still gotta pay attention. So I hope you guys were putting on some music or something, cause this is a process. Okay, now you see like it's like a turn, starting to turn that amber looking color. Okay, so it's almost done. Hang in there, but don't take your eyes off of it. see that color which means it's done finished all right so let's add the good stuff we're gonna use unsalted butter for that rich and creaminess so i think i have like three four five six it's about six tablespoons but i cut it up really small and just whisk 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 whisk, whisk it in there because that stuff starts to bubble up quick all right guys keep whisking keep whisking because we do not want this stuff to bubble over on us. All right, so take it off the fire now. Turn your fire off. And let's get ready to add the good stuff. Go ahead and get you about a half a cup of heavy whipping cream and whip it on in there. It's going to start bubbling up again, so make sure you keep whisking. 
keep whisking until it simmers down and then it finally calms down okay and so when you first doing this it's gonna be a little runny but trust once you let this bad boy sit it's gonna be nice and thick go ahead and put a squirt or two or three of vanilla in there and then get you a little pinchy pinch or a little bit more of salt and go ahead and whisk it on in there guys we are almost done just whisk it a little bit more and then we're gonna let it sit let it cool down for a little bit because we're going to transfer it into a mason jar and put it in the fridge so let's just wait a few minutes and then we can jar it all right go ahead and get your mason jar or whatever glass jar you have to store this yummy goodness and pour it on in there, pour it on up. Hey guys, that is it. Homemade caramel sauce. Hope you enjoy. Until next time, later.